Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is two and a half, almost three weeks worth of receipts between prepping for Christmas and wedding planning the rest of the way, which we're 10 days away from. It's been a little expensive, but I did want to show you guys everything that I went through today. So we've gotten a lot in the past little bit obviously but I wanted to show you everything that I hauled. I did go shopping today again to just get some last minute things and it's a lot. We got a lot going on but being 10 days away from the wedding and trying to get Christmas done before Thanksgiving is become somewhat of a challenge but I've got a lot started and I'd love to show you guys that so I didn't get any footage of me shopping just because we were in a hurry and then we weren't in a hurry and just a lot going on. Appointments on appointments today. So. We, last night, my maid of honor tried on her dress for our wedding and it did not fit. It was too big, which, yay her, but being 10 days away, <laughs> so we kind of had to work in an alterations appointment today that was super last minute, and I'm so grateful for the lady that we have that altered my dress and has altered hers, because she squeezed her in and she said she could be able to get it done either tomorrow or the day after, if not the beginning of next week. Again, super helpful, very grateful for her, but we had that this morning, she went and got or she had an appointment, I had to get blood work done for hopefully, hopefully some kind of like baby related news, not pregnant, but we'll see if everything's moving along like it's supposed to be. So I've got that coming up and then, yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to talk to you guys about that in the coming weeks, but until then, yeah. So we're gonna start with Ulta and just kind of work our way around town because we have been everywhere in the past two weeks. So I'm excited to show you guys all we've bought. Okay, so just getting started with Ulta. We stopped in. I was out of a couple things and there's more makeup that will come up in this, but I was out of a couple things for makeup that I needed for my wedding day. So I got the Morphe Continuous Mattifying Setting Spray. It's matte like that. When I tell you this stuff is made of magic, I mean it's made of magic. No one can compare to like this is stunning. Stunning. It's beautiful. It mists really well. It's great. It smells like cucumber. It smells great. And then I got a Maybelline Color Sensational lip liner to match my lipstick for the wedding day. Just want to make sure it stays on. It stays perfect. I use the Superstay Maybelline 24 hour stuff. Clutch. Clutch. And then I got a LA Girl Pro Conceal in Peach to help with my, my bags. My under eye bags. Because I'm tired. And I feel like I'm going to be very tired still next week. So I just wanted to make sure that I had everything that I needed. That is all I got from Ulta. And then moving on to Bath and Body Works, I picked up a candle the other day because three wick candles were $10 off. If you know me, I have a candle problem. This is the first fall candle I've bought this year though, so I'm really proud of myself considering how late it is in the season. And I got the Sparkling Pear Riesling candle and it has notes of fresh pear, juicy white grapes, sweet riesling, and it has essential oils in it. It's this beautiful green color. Stunning. I haven't been able to light it yet though because I don't want to like, I don't want to run out of fall scents too fast. I have a blueberry maple pancake candle from last year going over here right now. And this whole room smells like blueberries and it smells really good. It's making me really hungry. But that was the only thing I got at Bath and Body Works because I am a good girl. That's the only one I've bought this year, so I'm really proud of myself. But moving on to 
don't know. Let's go to Amazon, I guess. This is 125 feet of ivory tool to use with sunflower picks to make pubos because actual pubos are just not the move. And digging into home goods now, what I'm going to do is take a sunflower pick, just a normal pick, wrap it like a napkin ring, and bend it, and then run the tool through it in the back. So it'll just kind of like hang from the tool like this, which we're doing plum and sunflowers for the wedding, which is kind of a last minute decision, but that's what we decided to go with. So that is going to work out beautifully. And then my dress is white ivory and champagne, it's all three. So I had to do some kind of contrast color, but that came today and it was $12. It was $12 for 125 feet of tool. I will post that link in the description box because if you're getting married or if you just need tools for whatever reason, that's honestly as cheap as I found it, which is pretty amazing to me. So moving on, let's go to Home Goods next and then we'll go from there. Moving on to Home Goods, Brian and I went today with our friend and we came across towels. We were looking for kitchen towels for Christmas. We came across these. It's a little Santa hat on an R. So, so cute. We're doing just the traditional Christmas colors. And this honestly came out perfect. And then this, just this red one is completely plain. But these were seven, six ninety nine. So they were seven. But they were the only ones with an R. And we've been having a really hard time finding R things. I don't know if it's because he's never looked for them before or what's up with that. But I also got this probably like two weeks ago. It's just a big tote bag. It says just married on it to carry all of my junk in. And then it was $5.99. So we did come across some Christmas redone in our home goods today. So if you haven't been into check yours, I would go because... We had a good fun time with that. So, yeah. moving on to wedding shoes for me, and then we'll go to Hobby Lobby. Moving on to my wedding shoes, I did mention before that my wedding dress is ivory, white, and champagne. So, because of all the color variation, I have a lot of leeway on what I can do. But because my hair comb, my engagement ring, my wedding band, and everything that Brian's pretty much ever got me, including the bracelet I'm wearing for the wedding, are rose gold. I decided to stick with just like the neutrals, not do anything crazy. I had a pair of rose gold flats for the wedding and decided I didn't like them during my alteration appointment. They were so uncomfortable that by the end of it, my feet were just angry. They hurt so bad and I just, I wasn't feeling it at all. So I bought a different pair of shoes for the wedding there is a shoe store in the mall here, a new one. I was so sad when Payless went out, but there's a new shoe store in the mall here. And I got just your basic ivory strappy heels. Just short ones to wear with my dress for the wedding. I, I love heels, I'm big on heels. I especially love heeled boots in the winter and in the fall, but I didn't have any like good options for boots to go under my dress. So that is what I'm wearing for the ceremony and for the picture. Okay, so let's get going on a little bit of Christmas now. At Hobby Lobby, we've picked up obviously a lot of stuff for the wedding and quite a bit of stuff for Christmas already just because Christmas was 50% off this week and the wedding stuff has been on sale off and on. We're so close to the wedding and we didn't know we were even really going to be putting one on this year because of COVID until my birthday, which was the end of August. So not having really any time to do anything has been kind of challenging, but we've made it work in the time that we've had. So I, I'm going to show you the biggest thing first. I caught this on sale the other day. Obviously Hobby Lobby does like their shuffle through of sales and everything, but I did get this sign. Is better together. I don't know if you can see very well through me, but 
I did get the sign the other day when the wall art was half off. I I love Luke Combs. And if Brian will let me, our first look song will be better together by Luke Combs. So I had to have the sign, obviously, put in our bedroom. But there is that. A gift box for Brian's wedding present. It's not it's not in here. I don't want him to see it. But that is there. Twine for um photo wall for the wedding. My best friend is making us like a little photo collage thing with clothespins and twine. So the clothespins are there somewhere. I found them. They're but she's doing us a little photo collage wall thing and then Samantha, it's my mom. Samantha, if you're watching this, do not let Fluffy see this video because this is his gift for the wedding. It says, I love you, Dad. I was going to get him one that said, of all the walks we've taken, this one is my favorite, just because we used to hunt together a lot and we would go for walks a lot, but bonus parents are the best. If you're lucky enough to have bonus parents, bless you, because they're fantastic. But, yeah, I got him a little keychain, because he's not super sentimental, but this will mean a lot to him anyway, and I know that. Now there's that, and then I showed you guys the sunflowers, this is one, this is the other one. We have four of each, and I'm just going to alternate as we go. So there's those. I'm just kind of throwing stuff everywhere. I talked Brian into getting these two leaf ornaments to put on the Christmas tree. You know how I feel about fall. Put it on the tree. And then we have some mini sunflowers. These are for the wedding. We've been using these for boutonnieres and corsages for everybody because my maid of honor has just been making them and they look terrific. So if your friends have skills and you're getting married, use them. Use them. It's good. It works. Um, every year I've made it a tradition with myself and like my best friend and with, now with Brian to pick out a special ornament every year, both together and then one for each of us separately so we can grow like this mass ornament collection and get our kids involved in it too later. But... I found this one at the beginning of the year, just a little mistletoe sprig, it says you know what to do, and it's going in the walkway over here, but we have that one, and then I work hard so my cat can have a better Christmas. There were dog ones at Hobby Lobby too, and then there were different ones, and then this was my ornament just for myself this year. It's a camera, because I did start my YouTube channel this year. It's just a fun little memento. And then Brian picked both this clock ornament. It's like an old train clock. He likes trains. Can you tell? And this train. So I think he ended up with two this year, but that's okay. And then he picked out this little bear ornament. Because my dad, my dad's been gone for a long time, but we like to have like little pieces of everybody on our tree. So we have this little bear ornament to put on the tree. So I can think about my dad at Christmas time, because it was his favorite time. And then we got this ornament, it says first Christmas in our new home. It's got 2020 up here in the wreath, because we did move in. I am itchy. We did move into this house this year, so that's been pretty exciting. This isn't from Hobby Lobby, but this is from Dollar General, and it was mixed in. It's Mrs. Claus's candy shop. This was a dollar, and Dollar General. So they had some really cute stuff this year out already, but yeah. And then tree, a big tree. It's kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can tell, but. I got this one and then this one to do like a little decor thingy on the TV stand. That's what it's called. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I don't know if like my brain is just out there, but I don't know what words are. 
And then we're doing a gingerbread theme in the kitchen. I will put like a little blurb over here-ish, if I can remember. But we're doing a gingerbread theme in the kitchen. So I did pick this up at Hobby Lobby. It was $4.99 originally. I don't know what that is with the sale because I don't remember. But gingerbread bakery. So this is going to be really cute in the kitchen. But I think that's it for Hobby Lobby. I'm not entirely sure. If I find more, I'll pull it out. So. I found more Hobby Lobby stuff that I forgot that I got. So. I got this sign for mine and Brian's bedroom. Meet me under the mistletoe. This and probably a different set of sheets. Maybe a different blanket. Will probably be the only thing that we do in the bedroom. So. I thought this was really cute just to have in there a nice little flirty sign. And then there's a bajillion things. I'm going to very loudly unwrap it all for you. We got three of these fa la la ornaments. We're doing like traditional colors with mostly white and pops of red and like the Christmassy green but that's kind of it I didn't want to overdo it by any means I didn't want to make it crazy but those are the only three things in there I don't remember and then I got these two little just gingerbread man and woman for the kitchen for gingerbread world. I found those. And then we were looking for a sign for the living room and we found this. This is Brian's favorite Christmas story. So twist the night before Christmas. This was $14.99 before the 40% off. But we did pick this up recently. I just want to be able to this is the first Christmas that I've actually like been able to have like a quote unquote family Christmas since I grew up and moved out of my family's house. But I wanted to make sure that we could do this right. So I I've been kind of a stickler about all the things that we're getting. Down to white ornaments that I had hunt for. So these are just plain pearlescent white ornaments from Hobby Lobby and then we went to at home. This is the only thing that I bought there. But they're just shimmery. Can you see that? Okay. They're just shimmery white ornaments. So a little bit of mixture with that. Corsage with from Jamaica. And baking spirits bite for the kitchen. This was $9.99 before the sale, which of course, after 40% off means it was $6. I think I got it the other day for $5. Five. Yeah, $5. So, now on to other things. I'm going to show you one thing from Menards, one thing from TJ Maxx, one thing from Michaels, or no, one thing from Cracker Barrel, and then we'll move on to that. So, on to TJ Maxx. I found this cute little wood sign the other day, it was $5.99. They're putting Christmas stuff out at TJ Maxx already and Home Goods. I already told you about Home Goods. But TJ Maxx. It's a legit little gingerbread house. So gingerbread spice and everything nice, that's what Christmas is made of. And we're doing the whole like bakery theme for the kitchen. So this is going to be hopefully a really good tie into that, but we'll see. And then from Menards, I can't remember if I showed you guys these, but they are leaf dessert plates and napkins for the wedding. So we picked those up recently. And then I got a little, for a little DIY, it's an 8x10 photo frame to put our menu in for the wedding. We're just having like chili and cornbread and soups, just a little cozy fall vibe. But that's going there. That obviously cost me a dollar. And then from Cracker Peril. I was looking at this in the store and the sales lady, she came for me. And she won because this is amazing. It's like this giant wintry shrug shawl thing. 
and it has little pockets and a hood. It's super warm, it's fleece, and they have a lot of options, but this is the one that I ended up choosing just because it has the hood. But I put this on in the store because I wanted to feel it, and the lady came over and she was like, wow, that looks really great on you, and I was like, Thanks. So I bought it, <laughs> but I wasn't the only person that bought stuff that day, so I didn't feel that bad. But I was freezing in the restaurant and I came out and I was like, okay, I'm going to look at stuff and it just kind of went from there. So I got a shrug for the winter, which will be good for dresses and sleigh rides and candy castle and things like that. Moving on to Michael's, I did find these white, just regular like paw print ornaments for DIYs. Christmas DIYs. So I put each of the cat's names on them. So you got Archie and Leo. And then I made some for my friends. So Chelsea got like Watson and Salem ones. And then Taylor is getting a Napoleon one. Tay, if you're seeing this surprise, I got you a little ornament. Put Napoleon's name on it for you. So that is exciting. And then again at Michael's place cards advice cards which I'm actually gonna have people fill out and put hi, put in the scrapbook so we have them and then Samantha again if you're watching don't let grandma see this either because this is her wedding present this is for happy tears it's just a little handkerchief she probably won't use it but it's the thought that counts and then when I was little she was very like my grandma was very adamant when she was sad about not being, not showing it to us kids. So she always said that they were happy tears. And when I found this, I just thought it was the perfect thing. So, perfect. I can't show you guys what I got for Sam. She's my bonus mom. I can't show you guys that because if she is watching this, then she'll know. It's not worth it. So. I also, Brian and I found these Martha Stewart giant, like, copper-colored rosettes to put on the wall with Mr. and Mrs. Science. I'll show you those in a little bit. And then these letters to go in the scrapbook. Taylor, here's Napoleon's ornament. If you don't see it between now and then, it's in your Christmas box. And then we found a Martha Stewart wedding scrapbook. So this was originally like, like 45, 50-ish. We got it on sale for 13. So, but I wanted something easy to do because we needed somewhere to put everything. And it is, it's pretty, it's pretty decent. It's pretty plain, but it's pretty. And it was on sale. So I'm not mad about that. And Brian wasn't upset about it either. But moving on to, I think we'll do Walmart next and Target. Because those, Walmart's pretty big, Target's not so bad. But let's do that next. Moving on to Target. We were in there today because we were looking for some makeup I needed for the wedding. And I found this little fox. I had to have him. He's really cute. He was only... A dollar in the dollar spot. They have already have Christmas stuff out in the dollar spot, and I cannot believe that. But we got that. These also came from the dollar spot. I had to hunt for the Mrs. one, but they're Mr. and Mrs. chair signs. We're actually gonna put them up on the wall with those copper colored, mm, copper colored rosettes to do like a whole thing up there for the wedding at the reception, but I got that. I got a new e.l.f. eyeliner. It's cheap. I like it. Got that. It's waterproof, thank god, because I'm gonna cry. A mint lip exfoliator. I chew my lips a lot. I'm not gonna lie. But that. And then a new buffing foundation brush. The cat ate mine. And they eat all my beauty blenders, so no more beauty blenders for me. And then magnetic lashes. I hate, hate, hate 
trying to put on regular lashes so I'm gonna try the magnetic ones and see if I hate those a little less but I wanted to have super pretty lashes for my wedding day so this is how I'm going about it but I think that's it for Target I actually haven't been to Target that much lately because my Target buddies have not been available or I've not been available so but that's it for Target moving on to Walmart there was kind of a lot with Walmart but I think Walmart's almost last on things to go through. Getting started with Walmart. The girls like to dress up, so instead of getting their to them toys for Christmas, we decided to get them the travel outfits from Frozen to wear, but they will not get these until Christmas. They're obviously for Halloween, but they're not going to mind, neither are we. So we've got Elsa and Anna travel outfits. They may fight over them, they may not, we'll tell. Only time will tell. We'll figure it out. But we're not the only person doing that. I'm kind of thankful for that. And as far as they know, there's three. It's, 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 it's fine. They don't care. More Walmart things. Uh, breast strips for Brian and his best man for the wedding, just to keep everything fresh. Silicone rings instead of four for me. Again, I work really hard with my hands at work, and I actually already almost completely destroyed a wedding band and had to get it replaced last week. So I got silicone rings for work. But there's four pack of those. They can change with my mood. Who cares? Bobby pins? Worth it. Needed more of those anyway. Maximum hold hairspray. Having to do a hair trial tomorrow. Let's see how that goes. Clips for the girl's hair, for the twins hair for the wedding. They're not going to be in it, unfortunately, but they still need to look cute for their big sister's wedding, so clips for their hair. And then, spare my icebreakers for me for the wedding. It will keep me calm. That's all that counts. A box for my grandma's present. And a blah, 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 blah. cupcake toppers, sunflower cupcake toppers for obviously the cupcakes, but we just got plain white cupcakes and we're just going to decorate them ourselves because it makes more sense. A plus white five minute speed whitening system. I will let you know how this works. This was eight dollars. We'll see. I don't want to go to the dentist, nor do I have time. So. A 2020 Our First Christmas as Mr. and Mrs. ornament from Walmart. It was $3.98 and then you can write on it. We probably won't, but we got one of these last year. Not a wedding one, obviously, but we are engaged one. An R glass ornament. Again, kind of hard to find. A bag for my bonus mom's wedding present that I can't show you. A fox snow globe. It actually plays something. can't remember what. I think it's We Wish You a Merry Christmas. I'm not going to start it because it'll never stop. But foxes have become a big thing in this house this year. So we have fox snow globe. And then Brian needed a new Bible. So we got him just a KJV from Walmart and it is cognac leather and it's beautiful. Mine is huge and leather and pink so they're quite different from each other which just shows the difference in personality between the two of us. And then Brian wanted a village animated TV last year and we didn't get one so we got one this year and it just does its own thing and you can move the antennas around and you have like one off to the side and one straight up like your Aunt Mary's Uncle Tim's old crazy TV that never worked unless you kicked it. Anybody have any relatives like that? Just me probably. And then I went ahead and got us new stockings because I don't know where our other ones were but they're just like 
These are really cute for Walmart. Come on. They're $6.98 a piece. But just got us two matching ones. And I found an Etsy shop. I'll try to put a little block of it over here. But I found an Etsy shop that has like little tags that you can just get to attach to these to put your name on or mom, dad, or Mrs. and Mr. All that fun stuff. It's hard to find W's to go on anything. I could embroider them myself. I don't really have the time between work and home right now and wedding and Christmas and everything else. But yeah, so I'm going to get little tags made. When those come in, I'll put them on my Instagram. But yeah, I'm very excited for that too. And then the last store is Party City. So I'll show you all that stuff and then we'll be done. Yeah. Last but not least, Party City. So we obviously had to pick up some things for the wedding and I am so sorry. <laughs> we had to pick up some things for the wedding. So there's cups and napkins out there that my grandma bought that are orange. Orange, orange. I'll show you in a second. It's not a big deal because that's what we wanted, but they're very bright and I'm excited. So we got a big thing of spoons. Who doesn't need spoons? A big thing of forks. Because the wedding is just family and the reception will just be family, I'm not going crazy on it like everyone else usually does, but, you know, who doesn't want everything to just look nice anyway? So, we've got little orange bowls for salads, heavy duty white bowls for soup, chili, chili's not a soup, you can't tell me otherwise. More orange bowls, three ladles big boys for the chili and the soup. Tell me what you do. Do you put noodles in chili or are you correct? Which one? But, and then two platters. One for, this will be like cupcakes and pumpkin bread and banana bread. And then another one for cracker. Because who wants soup without crackers, you know? But, all that stuff is going on me, and that, I hope that's it, because my office is a mess now, but I think, I think that's it. So, okay, so I did go back through everything, and I promise you that is it for now. So, between having to buy all the wedding stuff and just needing to make sure we had everything that we needed anyway, it, this has been about two weeks worth of stuff which is crazy to me, but because it's so much, it needed to be done. There were so many things that still needed to be done, but I am very excited that I got to share this with you guys, and I'm hoping to be able to vlog the day of the wedding and the day before, maybe even the week before, just to show you everything that's going on, but if I can't do that, I'll still like show you everything like I have already, but this is our first house, so we did need to buy like all the crazy Christmas ornaments and who's not going to sit there and be like, oh, I got married. Let's buy the Mr. and Mrs. one or let's buy the initial one. And these are just, these are important things to us. So yeah, that's why they're so unbelievably like huge of an amount, but this isn't, this isn't even like half of what I'm going to do, I'm sure. So. Moving on from that, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and that's going to be it for this video. It's probably very long, but we'll see. And then I will... What is today? <coughs> oh, okay, so today's the 14th. We get married on the 24th. There should be a video out next Friday. I hope. But if not, forgive me. I'm stressed. I'm getting married. It's scary. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, please, if you'd like to stay here. And like the video, please, if you want to see more of this kind of thing. If you really want to see more Shop With Me's or if you want to see, like, what I'm actually doing picking up things in the store, comment. Message me on Instagram. Something. So that I know that you're out there and you, you know what's going on. But thank you so much for watching. And I will... See you in the next video.